Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is International Master Benny Chang with you once again. And um, I'm going to, let's do another five minute game. Oh, cool. That was fast. Okay, so let's try D4. So my rating went up a bit, and uh, I was playing on the library actually. Apparently, they won't let you uh, install Blitzen or Dasher in the library, but you can play through Java. So that's what I was using, and I was playing a few games and wasn't doing particularly well, so. It wasn't that great, but uh, I went up a bit, so that will be okay. So, uh, oh yeah, so I forgot to mention, this is Trompowski, and uh, after e4, normally people play h6, so uh, bishop e7 is kind of a weird move, because now, well, especially now, because usually what happens is uh, after bishop e2, I think, black's supposed to go c5, but he just castles right away, so I'm kind of suspicious about this. So I think I'm going to try c4, and uh, I guess we'll see how, how this goes. Okay, so, um, b6. I really want to play bishop d3 and knight f3 and just try to mate him. But I think I'm just going to knight f3 for now. So c5 is most likely move. Okay, there you go. That's c5. And uh, I think queen g4 probably should have been played first. It's kind of a d weird move order, actually. I think I'm kind of being tricked here. Um, so that's your. So, okay, so c5. Um, I wonder if I'm going to play a5 here. Maybe I should take this guy and play b4. Not quite sure exact, exactly how I'm supposed to uh, go about this. It's really, really tricky because uh, this he kind of tricked me with this move order, and I'm not quite sure how it's just this is supposed to go. But let's just try um, take, and uh, let's try to play a3 as well. So basically, my idea is I'm gonna put b4, but obviously he's gonna stop that. That's what I wanted to do actually, because now I have to play. Uh, Bishop d3. Oh, I can play d5 now. Okay, so this guy's a tough guy. I'm playing d5. Wow. So, okay, so I got Ampassant that too. And yeah, my position is not that good anymore. It's pretty much like, it's pretty equal here. And um, I think I may have screwed up, screwed up somewhere, and I'm not quite sure where. Because I've seen this kind of opening before, and usually the mover is a bit different. So I'm usually able to play against it effectively. But here, he kind of tricked me with this castling first. So yeah, not quite so good. But uh, okay, so put d8. Um, okay, so can play bishop h7 check. Hmm, not sure if I can do that. I really want to try it though. So bishop takes h7 check, king takes, then g5 check, and um, king g8, queen h5. This is kind of suspicious. He has queen e5 check, of course. Hmm. Definitely kind of suspicious. I'm uh, very skeptical of this, this kind of uh, this kind of play. Mm. Well, okay. Well, hmm. okay. So take take g5, king g8, queen g5, and uh, queen five check. Okay, so this is not quite so good. Man, I'm not very happy about this. So g4. Okay, I'm just not gonna try again. I guess. Um, my time's going down pretty fast as well, so I gotta move fast. G4, hopefully, probably play knight c6 or something. Um, that seems to be okay. I shouldn't be too worried about that. Uh, knight c6, I'm gonna play knight c3, I think. Um, so knight d4, and take. Queen takes d4. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, that's no, so knight c3. The idea is if he plays uh, queen d6 and then d4. Takes, she takes, and I think I'm gonna be five now. Might be five. Okay, this looks fine, I, I think. So I'm just gonna do double attack on this bishop and queen, and I'm gonna force him to go, oh, go somewhere queen c5 or something. And I'll just take this guy, I guess. Mm, so queen c5, probably. Uh, okay, so the, the what? Okay, um, okay, so I'll take this guy first. So if you take it with rook takes, bishop takes each time wins. Take a queen takes, uh, doesn't quite win here. Okay, so bishop e3, queen takes e4, bishop takes b6. So this isn't quite the most uh, best way, but I think if I go bishop c3 or something, it would just consolidate and my position might be worse. So I'm gonna just try this out because uh, I really want to do something about this. Oh crap, he has queen takes g2. That's not quite so good. So this is definitely, I'm definitely in a bit of trouble here, but uh, I think, so, but hopefully he'll miss that. That's that's really what I'm going to 
hope that's gonna happen. So Queen takes g2, so rook f1. Okay, so he's gonna move his rook somewhere. And uh, where's he gonna move his rook? He's gonna move it to d7 or e8. So rook, rook d8. Okay, so I'm gonna just I guess I'm gonna try uh, I'll play rook d1 here. I think maybe c5 first, but uh, I think I should maybe maybe I can even try some kind of tactical trick here. So okay, so I'm gonna play rook, rook d1 first. So after your root takes, I'll have to play, play, play uh, king takes d1, because if I play queen takes d1, queen 4 check. So now queen c6 is possible, but uh, this is also definitely a possible move. And uh, unfortunately, I might have to bail out, bail out here, because uh, my position kind of sucks. So f3, I'm hoping he uh, doesn't change pieces here, because then I can have uh, rook g1 with some possible ideas here. Oh, wow, this is a, it's kind of an annoying move. C4 check, king 1. So I'm gonna do five for a draw here, and uh, but that, that'll be okay, I guess. I mean, it's not the worst position to play. It's definitely not the best either, but uh, it's definitely okay. So my bishop has done a good job guarding the d8 square, and I definitely have some play here. And queen e5 is a move that's it's probably coming up after bishop c6. Queen e5 is possible. There you go, and. Uh, He's not defend with g6, I think, or queen, queen 6 check, but now I got bishop e3, and uh, it's going to be quite, it's been kind of difficult, oh sorry, it's going to be kind of uh, hard for him to defend this actually, because I, seems to, I seem to have some kind of a uh, tactical trick here. He plays f6, queen 6 e6 check, and uh, queen 6 is met by bishop e3, g6 is bishop d4, and this queen has no checks here on f2 or h2. So this just means that he definitely should have exchanged queens off because now I think I might have a good attack here. So bishop e3. So probably rook d8 check here. It's most likely going to be played. Just because, uh, well, yeah, pretty much. So rook c1. Okay, so I'll play king c3, I think. King c3, and that seems to be okay. So he doesn't have anything to do here except move his queen somewhere. But if he does move his queen, then I'm basically just going to take it. Or, um, uh, I mean, or it's going to be mate on g7. And he has played something like rook d5, I mean that's, but that's not going to work. And obviously rook d8 is a spike check. So there you go, he resigned. And uh, I was actually pretty happy about this game. Um, I was definitely like pretty much close to lost, because my uh, messed up opening. But uh, the key part was this part. When, okay, so he checked me here. Here, now he should just change queens off. But after refusing to change queens, after rook g1, queen h4 check, king uh, d2. The key move here is he has to play queen f4 check and just well he has to force queens off or at least guard this uh, g7 square because you know he t I believe he told him it's queen e5 and this actually this move seemed to win actually you know surprisingly it wins because you don't have f2 square and you don't have h2 square and you really have no checks either and the one move they can play is g6 lose to bishop d4 and I mean this doesn't quite lose but it looks very very awful. But uh, what he did instead was push e3, and uh, he really had nothing to do here. And this is a game. So yeah, that was that was pretty fun. It's kind of unexpected to win that way, but you know, a win's a win. So I'll take it. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I will be back next time with more live chess broadcasts. Thank you very much, and bye bye.